the description is that it's supposed to be dark, wet, grey, metallic -y, cold, but also warm. How... how does it... Uh? Ooh, I'm wearing a fragrance with Nymphia. Come check me out, you know what I mean? Hello, hello my darlings, my gorgeous peanuts. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to do another shop or drop because there are so many new releases coming up and most of them, they're not available yet. So obviously I'm not an angel and I didn't have a chance to smell them. But I'm going to tell you my initial opinion uh, if there is even something worth waiting for uh, or there's not. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And before we do, guys, um, I cannot wear pretty much any jewelry at the moment. I have to take off all my bracelets because I have been redoing this tattoo, uh, doing this one. And also I have been um, involved in some tattooing on my neck. So I had to take everything off. And uh, the only jewelry I can pretty much wear are earrings and rings and that's where I had fun with my jewelry and I just want to show you what I got from Julia Jewelry and I'm showing you this because I love it and I have a discount code for you and I'm not paid to tell you about it but I would just really really like to share and look at this beautiful ring this is like the eternity band and um, those stones are kind of like marquees flowery just so beautiful and it came with this ring so it came as a set uh, but I wear them separately and I love how shiny they are uh, Julia has such a good quality you can choose the color of your stones you can choose if it's a diamond or Julia stone uh, like the special um, kind of a stone that they use uh, you can choose the color of your metal and what metal it is, if it's silver, if it's gold. So they have so much to choose from and they have beautiful designs. So yeah, I really, really love my new stack. I even don't wear anything else because I just want to show these two more. So yeah, check out Julia because they are amazing and I have a discount code for you. So yes, I am currently on Instagram and I'm going to give the credit for fragrance watch account um, I don't really know who is the owner of the account however um, they always post the newest releases that are upcoming or have been just released so I'm gonna go through um, the last month let's say because I have already done uh, another shop or drop recently but there is so much going on that I feel like I have to do another one um, because you guys need to know you guys need to know Alright, so the fragrance that I haven't said anything about is the Miu Miu Twist Eau de Magnolia and uh, it includes pear, magnolia, cyclamen, musk, iris and pink pepper and even though I'm not the biggest fan of florals, typical floral scents, this one actually might be very interesting because in my opinion the whole twist line is actually really nice and it's not too expensive. They have beautiful bottles. The lasting power on the two previous ones that I have tried was not like incredible, but it was still decent. Um, and this one is actually really interesting for me. I know not really my cup of tea, but for some reason I'm very interested. I want to smell um, this combination of pear and magnolia and cyclamen. I love cyclamens. Uh, so yeah, it might be like a nice floral, slightly powdery and slightly um, summery fragrance. We'll see. But I feel like it's going to be very nice. Um, this one to me is, is actually a shop. I'm not saying I will blind buy it, but who knows? Who knows? Next one. We've got Stefan Umber, Luca and we have Pink Boa. And you know guys... I don't even know if I want to say anything about it because I see that this is a Russian exclusive and how can you even make a fragrance these days that is Russian exclusive? It should be Russian exclusive. Like I'm sorry guys but 
you know, there is a line that you these days should not cross. Even though you might make money on it, it's just not right. It is just not right. The fragrance looks very nice and I really love the bottle. You know, it's pink and snake, so come on. Um, but, and it has raspberry. But you know what? To, to release a fragrance that is Russian exclusive to me is a massive flop of the brand. I really don't like that. Um, you know, if it was a different timing, then of course do what you want. But so many massive brands have banned um, Russia and they do not sell there anymore, even though they're losing millions and millions of dollars. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. I'm going to be very honest with you. If you guys don't know, I'm right at the border. I'm Polish um, and doesn't sit right with me at all, at all. Uh, no matter what the real insights of the conflict are, it's still not right uh, to be promoted in the country that instigated the conflict, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, then we've got a limited edition of uh, Carolina Herrera Good Girl, and this is the Midnight Edition. And we've got pink pepper, almond, orange blossom, tuberose, vanilla, tonka bean, 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 and patchouli. And you know what, guys? This actually might uh, be very nice. I'm sure it's going to be super similar to the original. Um, and it's also going to be uh, probably very similar to um, the Supreme version as well. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, I will definitely like to smell it. Even though I think uh, a line that's way better than Good Girl is, even though I do like the flankers of Good Girl and you know I have them, I think something that's better is uh, Jimmy Choo line because they're stronger, long lasting and less expensive. But I will gladly try it. I would gladly, gladly try it. All right. Next we have Alice Brooklyn Vanilla Milk. And uh, I really like uh, the concept of the brand. I really like uh, some of the fragrances because I sniffed pretty much all of them in South Africa uh, in Faces, I think. Yeah, if you are in South Africa, Faces carries them. Uh, or Skins. <laughs> Is it Faces or Skins? I don't know. <laughs> but one or the other. Um, this one has some, of course, milk and frangipani and a lot of vanilla, co cocoa, cacao, cocoa. <laughs> what is going on with me? I think I just got a little bit emotional about that Russia aspect, you know, and now I just don't know what I'm saying. Um, you know what? I really like the concept of the brand, but to me, they're too expensive. For a hundred mil, uh, no, there is n even no 100 mil. For a 50 mil, you pay over $100. No. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Even if the scent is nice, I wouldn't pay so much. Mm -mm. I know I have... Mm, you guys are gonna now say that I have more expensive fragrances also in 50 mil. But, come on. Like, you cannot compare Armani Privé to Ellis Brooklyn. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Uh, the fragrance that I forgot to say anything about and it's been already released is Barbara Elixir. And uh, honestly, I really, really am tempted um, to get it. Blind buy it. I don't care. Even though I do not like the original anymore, I don't use it. I am going to declutter it soon. So stay tuned. There is going to be a massive declutter on my channel. Uh, and I don't really love the Intense. Uh, this one I would love to try. However, in my opinion, it's not worth the money. $150 for 100 mil. What is this? It's Barbary. Barbary always used to be less expensive of a brand when it comes to fragrances. Like, come on. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? No. They're making us customers idiots, truly. It's very nice packaging. I'm sure I would love it for its note structure because there's a lot of strawberry. But to me, it's very expensive. 
honestly, this is absolute bullshit, you know? Then we've got Eilish number two in a black bosom bottle. And uh, it has some apple blossom. I don't really love apple blossom. So um, this will be straight up flop for me. I don't want it. Of course, I'm going to try it if I have a chance. Um, but uh, the description is that it's supposed to be dark, wet, grey, metallic cold, but also warm. How, how does it... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Uh, I really like the original because it smells like Nebras from Latafa. And I really like it. This I'm not sure about. I would say drop. I would say drop. You know, that wetness and metallicness and apple blossom. No, thank you. I'm, um, I'm dropping it. I'm officially dropping it. No. All right. What do we have next? Uh, <laughs> the new range of uh, Marc Jacobs Daisy. This is the Paradise range. And Paradise is mainly based on... Mm, we've got some lavender in one, then we have poppy and oak in the other, and in the last one we've got iris and chantilly cream. You know what? These are my. These might be very nice for a day-to-day -day fragrance. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Daisy DNA to begin with, um, but so worth trying. I would say worth trying. Uh, how it is with the prices? 50 mil for 90 dollars I don't know the, Those prices are Getting ridiculous for me to be honest guys Like what is this? Then we have clean reserve and by the way with clean reserve. I really really want to get Some fragrances like a lot of them a lot of them. I'm committed. I'm committed. It's the company uh, expense anyway, so I'm fine I really want to review them for you, but tell me in the comments which ones I should get. Should I get um, Radiant Nectar? Should I get um, the Summery one with Coal? I don't know the name. Should I get Skin? Should I get Rain? Which ones are, in your opinion, long-lasting enough to get? Tell me in the comments, then I will uh, buy them all that you recommend. I promise I will buy all of them that you recommend. But we have a new one, uh, and it is called Sparkling Sugar, and it is a fresh gourmand. For 100 mil, we have 110 dollars. But okay, this is somewhat justified. This is a clean brand. Um, they are sustainably sourced, because with other ones, I'm not sure. Uh, so okay, this one is somewhat to be expected. Here we have black currant, peach nectar, pink sugar, and umbrella. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. This one, no matter what, I want this. I want this, I want this, I want this. Uh, then we have Escada Santorini Sunrise. And I used to love Escadas when I was a child. I used to have all of the releases. Every single summer, I would uh, get a new release from my parents. I know it was nice. I, I I must say, in that department, I was very privileged. So, very happy to be to have been able to receive such stuff. I know, I know, guys. I know what you're thinking, but I would get all of them. Um, and I really like them. I really love them. Uh, this one has bergamot sorbet and mandarin. Uh, no, this one is not nice. I'm not too into it. It has some earthy notes in the dry down, some jasmine. Nah, I would skip it. I would skip it. Uh, okay. Then we've got the new release of Black Opium, Le Parfum. And we have mandarin, pear, cinnamon, orange, uh, blossom, coffee, vanilla and patchouli. And as much as I would love to try it, because it's surely intense, and even though it surely has the DNA of the original, it has some nice notes. But guys, for how much is it? For 30 mil? No, it's, it's yes, it's 30 mil. $150 for 30 milliliters. 
bitte? I am mind blown. I am mind blown. This is a joke, honestly, guys. How much can they really spend on making this fragrance? The bottle is $10. If, if anything, it's $10, right? Uh, then we have um, some vanilla oil, some uh, mandarin and pear and cinnamon, which are surely synthetic. So that would be like, what, another $10? No. Joke. Joke. This is a joke. I'm telling you straight away. I know that sometimes I also am a victim of buying something that's not worth it. Uh, but you know, still. Now I'm very clear-minded and it's a joke. Uh, Angel Elixir. Uh, not the biggest fan of Angel, you know me. Uh, however, I think if you are to get any Angel these days, uh, get the Elixir one. Uh, my friend Andy has it and he really loves it. It's a woody floral gourmand. Uh, it has some jasmine and ylang ylang and extreme amber and bourbon vanilla. Actually, it has no patchouli, so even I might like it. You know what? I might borrow it from Andy and I will review it for you if you would like me to. So, yeah. Okay, next one. We have three, no, two new releases from Tom Ford. We've got Electric Cherry and Cherry Smoke. Um, I heard that cherry smoke is long lasting enough to get. However, honestly, guys, uh, with Venom of Love, don't even bother. Like, because Venom of Love with my discount will cost you how much? $100 for Extra de Parfum 100ml niche fragrance. And for Tom Ford, how much do you have to pay? Let me see. <laughs> for. For 30 milliliter, 30 mil, $240. For 50 mil, almost $400. No comments, truly no comments. Just get yourself Venom of Love. It's not the same, but it, to me it's better. And it has better ingredients, that's for sure. Ugh, ridiculous, ridiculous Tom Ford. Okay. This one I actually want to get, no matter what. I know it's uh, probably not worth the price whatsoever, but I really want to get it. It's Valentino Donna Born in Roma Intense. And it has vanilla jasmine benzoin um, and some uh, lavender and vetiver, if I'm not mistaken. This, this has been written very weirdly, so I'm not sure. Uh, but it's pretty much dark and more intense version of Born in Roma and with this one I am interested in because I really really like um, Born in Roma it's just that it's not as intense as I would like it to be so I will either get this intense version uh, and maybe get the original and mix them together and then I have my perfect scent that would be ideal but I think if you have the original board in Roma, you should definitely get this to amp up the original. That's my two cents on it. Uh, it would be a shop, let's say. Uh, I know it's not worth the price for sure, but it would be a shop. Uh, then we have the new release from Killian. Can't stop loving you. And I love the name. I love the name. You, you know very well, this is very much my vibe. Such names. Um, and Can't Stop Loving You is a honey fragrance we have orange blossom paradison uh, we have honey we have vanilla we have oak moss and frankincense and this is definitely not worth its price 100 percent. but i'm gonna get it i don't care um this is probably gonna be my biggest um ridiculous perfume purchase in 2023 but I will get it, okay? I will get it for you, for the video purposes, for the reviews. I will get it for you. What the heck? I have loved Don't Be Shy. I might love that one as well, right? So not only I'm gonna get the ridiculously priced fragrance that is surely not worth it, I am also gonna blind buy it. You got me here. So yeah. I will get it. I, I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to tell you straight away. It's surely not worth the price. But I will get it for you. For you. 
Um, then we have the new Cacharel uh, Yes I Am Bloom Up and this one is based on red berries and orange blossom. Um, you know what? I have uh, taken many chances with Cacharel and I don't think they are. They are inexpensive but they also are very fleeting. So I wouldn't really get it. It's, it's going to be just like any other fragrance release. So it, like instead of getting a new release that's Cacharel, I would get something that's similar but way cheaper and way better quality online. You know what I mean? Because online you can always buy those older fragrances um, way cheaper. And uh, instead of this, I would just get um, La Petite Brobe Noir, uh, either the Intense or the Velour one, uh, you know, because the, the berries are definitely gonna have a sim similarity in here. All right, next we've got another Mew Mew and this is Fleur de Lait and it is very tempting. This one is a massive shop for me. Look at those pictures. I'm getting it. It is mango, osmanthus and coconut milk. Of course I want it. Of course I want it. Um, yeah, this one is a massive shop for me. I don't even know uh, how it's gonna smell. This one I'm also going to blind buy, for sure. As soon as I find it, I get it. Okay, last but definitely not least, guys, we have a new release from the women's collection of Parfums de Marley, and we have Valaya. And this is $355 for a half of <laughs> What? Guys, like the older I get, the more offended I am uh, with the prices of things, you know, especially that now I kind of work in the perfume and industry and I work um, with creating fragrance. This, this doesn't add up at all, but okay. Valaya has bergamot, mandarin and white peach. Then it has orange flower, nymphio. Nymphio is probably like a combination of uh, florals, kind of like flipping petalia. Another bullshit that they're selling us, but it's it's divine. Like it sounds amazing. Like oh, I'm wearing a fragrance with nymphio. Come check me out. You know what I mean? I'm so ethereal and angelic. And then we have vetiver, akigala wood, ambrofix, and max. Uh, first of all, loads of synthetics here, and I think this is going to be very ethereal and very clean. And you know, white peach will give you that very clean, almost soapy accord. Um, the rest, I am not sure how it's going to be blended in the dry down because Akigala wood um, is actually quite oody. It, it does pull, it's synthetic, but it pulls like agarwood. Um, so I don't know, I don't know, but um, for the price, I would say flip and drop it, guys. Like, come on, are you kidding me? But I'm sure that so many of you are gonna be interested in this. Um, if I get a lot of requests to review it from you, of course, I will purchase uh, at least a travel size and review it. But I'm not sure if it's really my cup of tea, to be honest. I'm not sure how... This is something that I am really not sure how it's gonna smell. Uh, I can't even imagine it. It's surely gonna be clean, floral, ethereal. Uh, but that dry down really uh, makes me wonder, you know? So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I surely need to test it for, for you, for YouTube. Uh, and I will let you know, but other than that, I think we are done with all those newest releases. This is what has been cooking behind the scenes of perfume industry in the last couple of months. And now you will be soon able to get them in the shops and online. Uh, if you have any of these already, let me know. And let me know which ones are appealing to you and which ones are a complete flop. 
when it comes to new releases. So thank you so much for watching and see you in my next one. Bye!